Hi guys! Welcome to Math Type TV. So today, ang 21st lesson is graphing the parabola. So this is the continuation of the conic section, uh, which is the parabola. Meron ako uploaded nun na uh, lesson doon, which is converting from standard form or vertex form to general form no, no, ng given parabola. So ngayon, in this video, i-discuss ko naman on how to graph parabola. So let us proceed. So, parabola, um, ito nung previous discussion ko, diniscuss ko ito, yung previous video ko, um, uh, re recall lang about the, uh, kung ano yung meron sa parabola, which is the focus, a fixed point, directrix, a fixed line, a principal axis, a line through the focus, perpendicular to the directrix, the latus rectum, the vertex, and then, ito yung standard form or vertex form and then the general form. So, since consist ang parabola nito mga to, so, kailangan sa in graphing the parabola, uh, i-determine natin isa-isa yan. Ano yung locations or kasi fixed point ang focus, ano yung location ng focus? Ano yung location ng vertex? Um, nasan yung directrix? Nasan yung principal axis? And then, the latus rectums? Yun yung mga i-determine natin dito sa parabola. Which is the, uh, kaya ako uh, uh, present pa rin ito kahit na nakapresent na siya dun sa previous video natin. Is, kailangan ko na, bibigyan ko lang emphasis kung standard form or vertex form. Since apat siya, um, yung dun sa mga bago lang dito sa, uh, sa panunod nitong video ko, or dun sa mga nandito na dati, dapat ay may idea kayo dito sa standard forms na to. Kung ano yung opening Kasi kailangan i-consider natin kung alin yung opening ng parabola, kung upward ba siya, downward ba siya, uh, open to the right ba siya, or open to the left. Ayan. So, iba-iba din kasi yung itsura ng uh, equations ng bawat uh, openings ng parabola. So, ito yun. Kailangan natin consider yan. Which is, kung makikita nyo yung latus rectum, which is the 4A, kapag ka positive yung uh, latus rectum, that is the opens upward and then kapag ka negative that is opens downward or pwedeng opens to the right or pwede rin opens to the left depende dun sa um, the uh, itsura ng standard form or vertex form so dapat alam natin yan so proceed na tayo dun sa example so graphing the parabola example na, uh, example natin is sketch the graph of the parabola that has some equation x minus 2 Quantity x minus 2 squared is equal to 8 multiplied by the quantity of y plus 1. So, yun yun. Ano yung first step na dapat natin alamin dito in sketching the parabola? So, ang unang step na dapat natin gawin is locate the vertex of the parabola. Kasi siya yung gitna. Siya, sa kanya mag-umpisa yung given parabola. Na, sa nandun yung locations niya. So, since ito yung given equation natin, uh, alamin lang naman natin yung vertex na wherein um, yung x variable lagi niya kasama yung h and then the y variable lagi niya kasama yung k since the vertex form is at h and k so ang kukunin natin ito um, 2 at 1 and then i-reverse -re natin yung sign niya since negative 2 dito sa h so this will become positive 2 and then dito this will become negative 1 sa k. Ayan. So, yung h natin is positive 2. And then, k natin is negative 1 based on sa given example. And then, therefore, a vertex natin at h and k, that is 2 and negative 1. Since graphing to the flat na natin siya dun sa Cartesian coordinate system. 2 and negative 1, positive ang, ang x variable, negative ang y variable. So, therefore, uh, y coordinates and then positive yung x coordinates. So, therefore, that is located at quadrant 4. So, hanapin natin yung positive 2 and then negative 1. So, dapat nandiyan yun. Nandiyan yung vertex natin at 2 and negative 1. Ayan yung first step natin, locate natin dyan. Kasi, pwedeng pa ganun yung graph, yung parabola. Pwedeng pa ganyan. Pwedeng pa taas, opens upward. Pwede rin opens downward. Depende dun sa mapoform natin dun sa equation. Ayan. So, depende dun sa given vertex form ng parabola. Ayan yun. 
Next is, step 2 natin, nagigulang dito sa task writing problem para at least determine natin. Next natin is, determine its principal axis or the axis of symmetry by considering the vertex form of the parabola. So, ito yung vertex form natin. So, i-consider natin yan. Kailangan i-consider natin yan para ma-determine natin yung principal axis. So, ito yung vertex form or standard form. So, ano yung, uh, ano yung condition? If the variable x has the second degree, it, it implies that the given parabola has a vertical axis of symmetry. And if the variable y has the second degree, it implies that the given parabola has a horizontal axis of symmetry. So, titingnan natin itong vertex form. So, kung yung x variable, yung may second degree, vertical ang axis natin, ang symmetry natin. Patayo yung symmetry natin. Kapag ka-y naman, horizontal yung axis of symmetry natin. So, based sa given natin, x minus 2, quantity squared. So, yung x, ang variable na pwede natin i-squared. So, therefore, x, vari uh, x variable ang mayroong second degree, not the y variable. So, since x variable ang nasa second degree, sa graph natin, ayan, no? in the equation, since the x variable has the second degree, which implies that the given parabola has a vertical axis of symmetry. So, patayo siya. So, yung sa graph natin kanina, mula dito, since the um, the principal axis is the a line that is a along the vertex. Kung ito yung vertex natin, along pass through the vertex. So, therefore, nandito yung vertical axis natin. O yung principal axis natin. Kaya yung vertical axis of symmetry, patayo siya. Ayan. Dataan yan dun sa vertex. Kasi based dun sa definitions natin ng parabola, principal axis, 9 through the focus, perpendicular to vertex, eh, sa directory. So, kung, since, eto yung, ano natin, principal axis natin. So, therefore, is either nandito yung, nandito yung directrix natin, or nandito horizontal yung directrix natin kasi vertical yung principal axis natin. So, next step na tayo. Tapos na tayo dun sa step 2. Step 3 natin is examine the length of the focal cord for the 4A. So, ibig sabihin, alamin muna natin yung length ng 4A natin. So, by computation in the equation, x minus 2 uh, quantity squared is equal to 8 multiplied by y plus 1. 8 is positive. So, kung makikita nyo dito, 8 is positive, yan, 8 is positive, which implies that the parabola is opens upward. Kaya nga kanina, dun sa uh, first, uh, after ko nung, uh, nung opening page ko, ang una ko pa rin yung sinasayin is the, ano yung uh, standard for ng vertex. So, tingnan natin siya, since naka-squared yung x, so it's either opens upward siya or downward. Since positive tong a, so, therefore, that is opens upward yung parabola natin. So, kung yung sa vertex natin kanina, kung nandito yun, pagayin yung sura ng parabola natin. Since opens upward yung positive yan, so, kukunin natin yung equivalent doon sa equation na yun, which is the positive 4a. Ayan. Ito yun. Ito yung sura ng ano yun. Yung uh, opens upward na parabola. So, ito kukunin natin. 4a, therefore, 4a is equal to 8. So, ang kailangan lang natin malaman yung values ng A. So, values ng A. So, to determine A, that is, uh, ano gagawin natin? Kailangan, uh, A lang matira dito. Ano gagawin natin sa 4? So, we divide both side by positive 4. So, divided by 4. Ang matitira sa atin, A is equal to 8 over 4. 8 divided by 4, that is, ang A natin is 2. So, yung sa graph natin, ang length ng mga gagamitin natin ng focal cord natin sa graph is, ang length ng focal cord is eight, uh, 2. Ayan. So, if 4A ang tatanong, that is T. So, ngayon, since the given natin parabola is identified as opens upward, all the computations pertaining to the parabola opens upward will be considered. So, since Alam na natin na upward siya, lahat ng computations under upward um, parabola, yun na gagamitin natin. And then, considering the 
blend of the vocal cord which is two. Ayan. Proceed tayo dun sa step number three. Uh, and number four. So, locate the focus of the parabola. Pwede na natin locate the focus of the parabola. Ano yung uh, ang formula? Ito yung apat na formula. So, for opens upward, that is H. Since fixed point siya, ibig sabihin, coordinates ang kukunin natin. So, that is uh, H and K plus A kapag opens upward. Opens downward, that is H, K minus A. Opens to the right, that is H plus A and K. Opens to the left, that is H minus A and K. So, yun nga, based dun sa previous natin, um, presentation, ang sabi, lahat ng um, formula for opens upward, yun ang i-consider natin. Hindi lahat to gagamitin natin. Ang gagamitin lang natin opens upward. Since the um, given example is a parabola which is opens upward, ito yung gagamitin natin. Ayan, ha? So, yun, gagamitin natin. Opens upward, which is H and K plus K. Ayan, ayan. So, Considering A is 2, ayan. vertex natin, that is 2 and negative 1. So, at H and K, that is 2 and negative 1. Ngayon yun, lagi natin tatandaan yung vertex natin. So, therefore, that will become 2 and negative 1 plus 2. This is A natin plus 2. So, that will be, our focus is 2 and 1. So, both positive, since both positive, yan, nasa quadrant 4 yan. Anong? the principal axis. So, that is 2 and 1. And take note, tayo ng clue nyo doon. Dapat si, vert, uh, si vertex, then the principal, and the, the vertex and the focus are in line doon sa principal axis. Kung vertical ang principal axis nyo, dapat tatama yung dalawa yan dyan sa principal axis nyo. Kung horizontal yan, Dapat both nandun din yung vertex nyo sa focus. Ayan. So, nalokit na natin si focus. Proceed tayo dun sa step number 5. Copy nyo to ha. Copy nyo yung mga yan. Yung uh, formulas na yan. Kasi yung magagamit nyo yan. Proceed tayo dun sa 5. Locate the end point of latus rectum. So, yung dalawang dulo ng latus rectum. So, meron din alikit tayong apat na formulas. For opens upwards, opens downwards. Opens to the right and opens to the left. Since, kagaya nga na sinabi kanina, ang i-consider lang natin lahat ng equations and or computations under opens upward. Di na natin gagamitin yan. So, linalagay ko siya sa presentation natin, sa video natin. Kasi, um, siyempre, reference ninyo, hindi naman lahat ng ibibigay natin examples or ma-encounter natin. Sketching the parabola is always opens upward. So, linagay ko na rin yung downward, the right, uh, open to the right, and then open to the left, para at least meron kayong, uh, paano nga ba kumpitin yung pagka uh, open to downward, right, and then left. Ayan. So, ngayon sa atin, since given natin is open to upward, ito lang gagamitin natin. Ayan. So, dalawa yun. Tens of latum to rectum, dalawa yun. So, ito yung para sa isa. So, ito unahin natin. Ayan, H plus 2A, NK plus K. So, given natin ang H natin and K natin, that is 2 and negative 1. Ayan, 2 and negative 1. Then, K natin is always 2. So, 2 times 2, uh, minus 1 plus 2. Ayan, so, simplify. So, yan, that is 2 times 2, that's 4. Ayan, plus 2. Then, ELR natin sub 1, kasi since dalawa yan. That is 6 and positive 1. Next, Para naman sa H minus 2A and K plus A. So, simplify natin. That is 2 times 2. That is at negative 2 times 2. That is negative 4. Tama? Uh, so, ELR sub 2 natin. That is negative 2 and 1. So, 2 minus negative 4. That is 2 minus uh, and 1. So, dun sa graph, locate natin yung dalawang yan. 6 and 1. That is both positive. So, that is this is a First quadrant, tanapin natin yung 6. So, nandito siya. Katapat lagi yun ang focus, ha? Then, yung, kag yung isa, that is 2 and negative, ah, negative 2 and 1. So, nandito siya yung second quadrant. Lagi silang katapat ng focus. Kasi nga, di ba, by, the, ano, by definition, is the length of the focal cord perpendicular to the principal axis. Ayan. 
So kung ito yung principal axis mo, so kung titingnan mo yung kung maglalagay ka ng imaginary line mo na sa dalawang ELR, that is a perpendicular line dun sa principal axis. Tama? And then, by definition din, nakalagay din dun, um, and therefore parallel to the direct flex, its length is 4A, 4A yung length nito So, di ba ang 4A natin is 8 kung titingnan ninyo. Mula dyan, bumilang kayo dyan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yun yung distance mula dun sa dulog-dulo. Which is 8 nga yung uh, focal cord natin. So, where A is the distance between the vertex and the focus, kung makikita nyo, yung distance nyo, that is 2. Yun nga. So, my Align yan. Align yan dun sa principal axis. Ay, sa focus natin. Next. Ayan. Ito na yung ano natin. Natapos na tayo sa ELR. Proceed tayo dun sa next step natin. So, next step natin is locate the directrix natin. Since opens upward pa rin siya. Ganun pa rin siya. Apat pa rin yung formula niya. Upward, downward, to the right and to the left. Opens upward naman ang gagamitin pa rin natin. Stay pa rin tayo dun since yun yung equation natin. So, that is y is equal to k minus a. Where k natin, k lang, k coordinates lang ang kukunin natin, which is, that is negative 1. So, negative 1 minus 2, which is y is equal to negative 3. So, kung mapapansin nyo, this is an equation of straight line. Straight line siya, linear equation to. So, proceed tayo dyan. Hanapin natin yung at y, since y is equal to negative 3, sa y axis, titignan natin sa y axis yung negative 3. So, that is, ito yung negative 3. So, dapat, nandyan yung line. Horizontal line tayo, ha? Kapag ka x is equal to negative 3, titignan tayo dito, then vertical line tayo. Since y ito, y is equal to negative 3, then vert, uh, horizontal line tayo. Which is, ang sabi nga naman, yung blue directrix, is perpendicular dun sa principal axis. So, yun yun. And then, yung location ng directrix natin. So, y is equal to negative 3. So, yun yan. So, ano yung next step natin? Last step natin is the graph the parabola. So, summary natin. Ito yung mga nakuha natin. Vertex at is 2 and negative 1. Vertical axis of symmetry, that is 2. Focus natin, 2 and 1. ELR, 6 and 1. ELR sub 2, that is negative 2 and 1. And then, the directrix is y is equal to negative 3. So, yun yun yung mga nag-apit natin. Since that is opens upward, so dapat ang graph natin pa ganun. Ano tatamaan? Ang tatamaan ng graph natin yung vertex sa kayong ELRs. Kaya hinahanap natin yung ELRs para alam natin yung itsura ng parabola. So, dapat pa ganyan magiging itsura ng parabola. Yan yung magiging parabola natin. That is how to graph the parabola. Yan na yan ha. Yan yung last step natin. So, thank you for watching. So, I hope uh, na-gets ninyo or nakuha niyo lahat ng mga formulas on how to determine the, uh, how, on how to graph the parabola. So, dapat sinusundan niyo lang kung ano siya. Kung since, o kung of, since ang given natin kanina is puro opens upward, so, lahat ng mga formulas are under open software. So, yun nga. Kaya nga sabi ko sa inyo kanina, pinaka-presentation uh, ko is pinakita ko sa inyo yung standard form. Ayan. Para at least, din yung magiging baseline nyo eh. So, ano yung gagamitin nyo? Upward ba siya? Downward ba siya? To the right ba siya? Or to the left? Okay? So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye!